Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Can you hear me, Aaron? Perfect. Excellent. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Friday webinar. Today, we'll be looking at hinges, hinge sets, and the hinge editor. Today, we're using Cabmaster Pro V 11.1.0.121, which is the most current released version for now. What questions we will answer today? How do I find the hinge table or the hinge tables on my computer? What are hinge sets and how do I apply one? How can I edit or create a hinge set? How can I change the drilling for my hinges and plates? How can I create a new hinge and plate? Why might my hinges not be machining? How can I set my hinge positions in drawing properties? How can I change my hinge positions in individual cabinets? How can I set up bifold doors? And how can I do tilt doors? Now, we won't be able to show every possible application or feature of hinges, but if there is something you'd like to know how to do and we have the time at the end, we'll answer what questions you have. In the webinar interface, you can ask questions in the webinar interface by clicking Q and A and then typing your question here. We have Aaron here with me today to respond to your questions as we go. You can leave the webinar at any time by clicking on the red phone button at the bottom of the screen. Don't though, because you'll miss the juicy details on hinges. How do I find the hinge tables on my computer? If we go to File and then Options, File Locations, Lookup Tables. If we copy and paste that, Control A, C, into File Explorer, it takes us to there, Control V, Enter. It shows you the file path for the tables folders. If we copy and paste this into the File Explorer, which we've done, we can see everything stored within the table folder. If we open up the hinges folder, these are the hinge set tables. If we go back to table and then click hardware hinges, these are the tables that hold all the hinges, not just those in the hinge sets. So our hinge set tables reference hinges within these tables, and these tables reference their machining from table machining hinges from all these tables here. Do not remove, rename, or edit any of these tables unless you know what you're doing and you have prior experience. Doing so may cause irreversible damage to these tables. So what are hinge sets and how do I apply one? Hinge sets are predefined groups of hinges. They allow you to have different hinges based on different cabinets and uh, needs without having to change the hinge type at a cabinet level. The idea is that you can have them set up and then easily change between them depending on the brand or fixing required for the job. Hinge sets can easily be edited or created. They can even be deleted. This way you can have hinge sets set up for your cab master the way you want to use it. To apply a hinge set, we go to drawing properties, job setup, And then we go to hardware. And we have hinge set, and we can choose from the drop down list. <coughs> or if in drawing properties, we go to hardware, and then we go to hinge set. And from here, we can choose from the drop down list.
how can I edit a hinge set? To edit an existing hinge set, we go to drawing properties, we go to hardware hinge set, we click on the edit button, choose the uh, hinge set to be edited, for example, Bloom screw. We can choose the hardware table you want to use if you want to use a hinge set or if you want to edit a hinge set and have hinges from multiple tables you can of course select multiple uh oh you can select all hinges so clicking the default table button will give you a small list of other hinges that can be found in the hinge editor. These ones refer to the drawing properties for their machining rather than having their own machining tables. We'll discuss that in a little bit. You can select individual hinges from the drop down list, of course, if we want to go back to, say, Bloom. And then we have our hinges and our hinge plates. Once you've made whatever edits you need to, click Save and OK. Once you save a hinge set, it cannot be reset to the default settings. I'm going to go Cancel. So how can I create a hinge set? If you want to create a completely new hinge set, again, we open Drawing Properties. We go to Hardware, Hinge Set. We can click Add, and then we click New. Now we'll give it a name and we'll call this Webinar Hinge Set. Click OK. So we select the hardware table we want to use, and I'm going to go all hinges. And this will allow me to select any hinge, any brand. You go through there, fill them all in, assign them for the drop down for the uh, hinge plates and hinges as you want. If you leave some of these blank or leave them as select, they obviously are. Uh, cabinets reference these so if they're blank or select some cabinets may not have hinge supplied to them once you've created your new hinge set you click apply and okay and we can now see it in our list so we'll move on to hinges at an individual level now and how can i change the drilling for my hinges if you want to find if you find the need to change the drilling depth of the hinge cup or need to alter any of the machining for a hinge for example you need to move the drilling in from the edge of the door to cover a 21 mil material for carcass instead of standard 16. you can do this by going to drawing properties and then hardware, and then managers. Make sure that hinge set is selected and then click hinge editor. So we choose the table that the hinge is in. We're gonna stick with Bloom. We choose the type, which is a hinge or hinge plate. And then we choose the hinge that we want to edit. So in this case, it's I'm going to stick with the 107 degree Bloom Overlay Knock. So here we can change the diameters, depths, distances from the edge and spacing of the lugs. We can even change the layer names here too. Keep in mind that if you change the layer names, then you'll need to make sure those layers in Easy Nest are in Easy Nest and have the strategies assigned to them or they won't machine. After making any changes, you click Save and OK. 
save is up the top and okay is down the bottom again make sure that you click save and okay and it will edit the hinge table or the machining for the hinge table so this will affect all your old drawings and all your new drawings so if you are using the hinges from that small list that i was talking about just before which we can see here these ones you'll notice don't have details on the lugs and then if we go to hinge plate there's no machining details on the hinge plate so the machining for these ones come from mac general tool and it's these ones here Moving on, how can I create a new hinge and hinge plate? The end process for creating hinges and hinge plates is much like editing hinges, but the start is a little bit different. So if we go to drawing properties, hardware, managers, make sure that uh, hinge set is selected and click the hinge editor. We'll click on new. And we'll type in a name, we'll call it Webinar Hinge. We select the type, so I'm going to leave it as Hinge, and we click OK. Immediately click Save and click OK, and then reopen the Hinge Editor. If you don't save and close the Hinge Editor first, then the machining won't save, and you'll have to do it again. So we reopen it, it's all there. And now we can go through and put all our machining in. Again, once you put in your machining, give it a layer name, make sure they match up to Easy Nest. And then save, okay. So now you know how to create hinges plates and hinge sets you can create whole new hinge packs that don't come standard with Capmaster. so after all this you might run into possibly an issue of why might my hinges not be machining so after editing or creating a hinge plate you might find that the hinge plate isn't machining some causes of this may be the layer in Cabmaster does not match EasyNest, so you need to change that in the Hinge Editor. The layer in EasyNest doesn't have a strategy assigned. We've done a previous webinar on exporting jobs to EasyNest, and that covers the process for checking layers in Cabmaster and EasyNest. You can head over to our YouTube channel to check that out. There may also be a Doormaster LT profile turned on. Because doors machine from the front, by default, the hinge machining will be disabled. There is six-phase or flip-based machining available in the latest version of EasyNest. Keep in mind that not all machines are capable of six-phase machining. And if you have any queries on this, please contact your local dealer. Paneler's door may also be ticked. So hinge plates won't machine in blind panels. If we go to Drone Properties, Job Setup, and then Materials, we can check to see if Paneler's door is ticked. We can see this in a blind cabinet by going to Materials, and then Panel. We have Paneler's door ticked. If I untick that, there's our hinge plate holes. Another easy to check solution to hinges not machining is making sure machine hinge holes in doors is ticked. We can go to drawing properties, 
Mac General and click on Hinge. And that's it in the bottom left corner. If that's unticked, it'll turn off all the Hinge machining in the doors. Okay. So how can I set my Hinge positions in drawing properties? To set up your Hinge positions for the whole drawing, open Drawing Properties and go to Hardware and then go Hinge Quantity. And here we can choose at what height the quantity of hinges change from two to three to four to five. Five is the maximum number of hinges Cam Master can apply per door. If you need six hinges in a door, your best option is to use the machine editor to add extra drilling. We also have a video on the machine editor feature. You can find that on the Cam Master YouTube channel as well. You can also set the center distance for the top and bottom hinges of all cabinets. Then tall cabinets have extra settings for middle hinges. Now to clarify, middle hinges positions do not apply to floor and wall cabinets. They are only tall cabinets. We can also see these options if we go back to machine general and then hinge. That's them there. How can I change my hinge positions in an individual cabinet? So for a floor standard cabinet, this one here, we go to cabinet machining and then hinges. You can see the center positions for the top and bottom and we can override those. just like that. And you can see that change. The middle hinges will evenly space between. You can't move them in standard cabinets. For a wall standard cabinet, go to cabinet machining and then go to machining. And that is override distance to top, override distance to bottom. We can override distance for lift hinges. We can turn off in Charles. Again, you can't alter the position of middle hinges in standard wall cabinets. For tall standing cabinets, cabinet machining and then hinge. Here we can alter positions for the middle hinges as well. And then we can change those quantity door height options for this specific cupboard. If you need more adjustment, check out universals. So this is a tall universal. I hope it is. As we have, as well as having settings we've already seen in a cabinet machining and then machining, or in hinge, which will be there. We also have the options of hinge two, which I have turned off here because they do not apply to cell doors. They only apply to div doors. So if I turn off cell doors, turn on div doors, Go back to cabinet machining. You see we now have hinge two here. Hinge two allows you to position every hinge individually. And the middle hinge works from the bottom. How can I set up bifold doors? Bifolds aren't available in all cabinets. So here I have a tall standard two door. 
go to cabinet details and then in general and tick by fault. You can choose a quantity of two doors or four doors and choose the hinge side. Keep in mind that if you choose four doors, it will open from the center. So go to hardware and then we'll go hinges. We'll click override. We'll change that to click. And we're going to choose our bifold. In this case, I'm going to use the Wingline 770 double cup or the hinge and the hinge plate. Now, these hinges need a custom table applied to the doors to work. So we go cabinet machining, custom, click on draw door front, click the tick box, and then we go and find the custom table. It matches, apply, and OK. Then if we go back to hardware and hinges again, we can see these ones are blank. If I go back to say Bloom, it will automatically fill them. You could then of course choose any others and choose what hinges you want for your ends and your hinge plates to your ends. Now we can see the machining in red and in yellow and in green. Uh, ignore the black. The black is just a visual thing. It won't affect your machining at all. Headache wing line are just one group of bifolds that we have available within Cabmaster. If there is another brand that you'd like tables for, you can send an email request to tables at cabmastersoftware.com. Be sure to include any spec sheets and information that you think we might need. As we create these and test them and we get feedback, we can add them to the Stormaster webpage. Again, send it to tables at camastersoftware.com. How can I do tilt the doors? So say we need a door hinged on the bottom for a laundry hamper or a laundry chute. Let's get rid of that one. We can do this with a floor universal. So We'll go to doors and then div doors, untick even pair, we'll untick say end right, which will remove the right door. We click on the edit button, change our hinge position to bottom, apply OK. Now, if we go to hardware and then hinges, we click override for both of them and we change these to what we want to use and we're going for example that and then the Bloom mounting plate inserter go to 3D Y frame and there you can see our hinge and hinge plate so that covers all the planned section of this webinar and hopefully gives you all the information you need to set up hinges to work for your business. We'll quickly have a look at questions now. So if you have any, please type them in. Please keep your questions related to the topic. If I don't get to your question, but you do need an answer, you can contact Cabmaster Technical Support. How do I remove the center hinge in a range of cabinet? Let's grab one and we'll have a look. There we go. Wall, range hood. So say like a wall, range hood undermount. 
open that up. So that one's only got two. Go back to cabinet details. And we'll change that door height to say 500 some of that, apply and OK. So this hinge here, unfortunately, it isn't an option within cabinet details. You'd have to go into machining if it was specifically only this cupboard that you wanted to uh, remove the machining for. It might be easier to nest it separately or export it separately from a separate drawing that has different drawing properties where you change this setting here. Otherwise, you can remove it with the machining editor. If I choose door to right, we do have a video on YouTube about using it. But you can use this feature here. In the drawing properties, it will change not just all your upper cabinets because it is in drawing properties. That will change all your cabinets. So it might be easier to have it as a separate drawing just to export your range of cabinet um, and then the range of cabinet in your main drawing you would possibly even turn off all the hinging holes otherwise yeah go through edit and edit it that way excellent that uh just about wraps everything up Next week, we're going back to basics with all the features of the annotate tab. Aaron will be leading us on that. I'll close that. So next Friday, 1 p.m., we'll be covering everything here. Uh, today's video will be going on our YouTube channel, hopefully sometime before the webinar next Friday. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy your weekend.